then the perhaps first part of this demo I can talk a little bit more about system as um, before we go on blues. So system as we know is position, speed, gear and acceleration yeah. and information that flows through. So I can demonstrate on this roundabout so Mirror's position, my position is going to be near side. Information is signaling for the car behind. Yeah. Speed is okay. Gear is matched to the speed, and acceleration is now A2 acceleration. So A1, maintaining speed A2, which is this, increasing speed. Coming up to a bend in the road there to the left, and it's on the brow of the hill. So, system will tell me first of all, it's information of nothing behind at the moment. Position. P3 but ready to surrender that which I'm going to do now to P2. Speed is okay, it's matched to the road situation. The speed means I can stop in the distance that's clear on my side of the road. Turning right at the roundabout, we're in position, the offside lane of two. Speed, reducing the speed through the brake. And I haven't taken the gear because I haven't got the gap. Now I'll take first gear, let the signal run. mirrors and shoulder. I'm going to make sure I'm aware of what's coming down the side. Intersecting in the middle while the wheels are straight. Signaling my intention again. So we go through the system. Mirrors uh, signal position, speed and gear now going up. So increasing speed, increasing the gear. Watching the car turning right down there, one round the corner. Side road as well. So Again, using system, mirrors, position, I'm going to move to P3, it gets me away from the car. Hand on the horn ready, in case, coming up quite fast there's that junction. Maybe sometimes I just need a little nudge from the uh, horn just to make them aware of you. Again, position there, over the line, P4, because of the blind corner, I've got the hatch markings, even on routine I can move into this position quite safely. It just gives me a little bit better view around that corner. So it's, it's position for view and stability, but not necessarily safety. I could always return back, so I don't want to sacrifice safety for position or speed or anything. To be position to the near side of P1. Now back to P2 because of the junction, in fact, P3. So it's again ever changing conditions. We change position, we change the speed. Again, here, mirrors position nice and early over to P4. This just Gives me a little bit of an early view. Now I'm going back to P3. Traffic lights could change. There is pedestrians nearby. They are walking past. Near side is not visible at the moment because of the van. Now it is. I'm going to turn right at the roundabout. So I'm bringing the speed down again. In routine, I'm in the uh, lane one of the lane two of two. Okay. So what here? Information is what other people are doing. So I've got two signals there. I will check to the near side because it's such a small roundabout. And I am going to take the signal or follow this round, but there's a zebra crossing there. So scanning that, no pedestrians around. Now back into second. And watching the car just getting out of the way in front there. And once we come off the next roundabout, we'll go back to emergency response. So there's our roundabout give way at 150 yards we're taking the first exit of three so mirrors signal my intention for the vehicles on the roundabout and the ones behind which in this guy he's actually okay he's behind the fence breaking down to the speed speed's correct we'll take second gear there maintaining the acceleration through the, 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 the corner watching for the lights to change now we'll go back onto blues so we're going to do a blue light run um, I think we'll go through the tunnel, Medway Tunnel way okay. So I've got the blues on. I'm gonna put the sirens on just past this junction now. There was a couple of pedestrians over there, didn't want to startle them. Change the tones for the crossing. The speed is coming down. Speed's done. Select in second, so it's trying again not to break and gear together. Following this round, I'm going to take the right side, so I'm indicating my intentions, car on my near side. Change the tone. A couple of 
couple of changes to tone there. Just scanning through here, we may have a situation with part of the waves here, so it's nice and slow, nothing too pressurised because people will bump up the kerb and damage the car and so on. Now you've got a red light there, and I'm just going to hold the position here at the moment. I don't fancy going through the gap there, now I can. Let them off again and they get back on again here for the the signal's important here so i'm just scanning both sides there near side check because i'm coming around to the near side so that van could have moved off dash and cross him make sure he's okay and again we've got a lot of queuing traffic up here back on the tones again so we're trying to plan our way through these situations with as little as an amount of drama as possible so Nothing high speed, it's just walking through, watching the blue and the motorcyclist. Thanking this guy for holding his position for me. The van in front has pulled up. He's indicating out. I'm gonna quickly change the tone there. I'm pretty sure he's pulled over for me, but you never know. Then yeah. coming around this bend, near side position is favorable, but also got a mindful of the junction. Oncoming vehicles as well as we come round. So change the tones for the junction, back to the short tone back to the well again and just making time for these people to move out of the way so we're parting the waves again low speed mirrors shoulder and nothing too dramatic here because it could be a pedestrian there it could be anything now we can pick the pace up a little bit watching the black car parked up and another one coming out of the junction so you've always got to be aware of the sights and change the tones here, letting you get out of the way. The road is blocked there, but just watching for cyclists over the top. Nice and clear mirrors back on the drive. Now we can pick the drive up a little bit more. Extra station on top of here, side road. Got the Robertson L lorry there, so it could be a, you know, a new driver. He could be quite nervous to see what he's going to do. And I'm just giving him time. I'm looking at the gap. I'm minded, mindful of the vehicles there. Let me take the gear now. Good position through right the way through now to the parked cars. Let's scan over the top for any pedestrians waiting around there. Back to the long times again. So long times is our default tone if you like. Actually turn the wipers off now. Again, watching the crossing, it's clear, junctions either side, no movement. Moving out nice and early, you've got the hippo lorry and the vehicle coming towards, changing times. One holding up nicely there, near side mirror. Looking through the gap again, watching for anyone in the distance. Thank you for letting me through there. And again, we've got a roundabout, we're turning right at the roundabout, which is exit three of three. Watching this black car. Okay, there might not be anyone in it, but it's worth just changing the tones there. Coming in quite slow, don't want to force anyone into traffic here. So holding back, I'm going to actually take the middle part here and part of the waves. So I've got the lorry holding, watching underneath that lorry for the cars coming round. So there's my, that's important for me to be able to see that. Change the tones, watching for anything in the middle, particularly motorcyclists, nice and clear. Following the road round, so still keeping that right signal on. Left signal, can't cross the solid white line there. Rule 131 Highway Code, that's used to, a, a solid white line that's used to divide traffic. Which means I've got no exemption there. Okay, watching the white one. Is there a place for him to go? There is. Watching the white emerging the gold. Change the tones. So the path of least resistance is the offside lane here, lane. Um, and then we can come in here. So I've got the option of either going around the or actually come in here now. Going down the cross solid white lines. So at the moment it's only paint dividing traffic. So I'm gonna wait until the solid white lines clear. Just turn the tones off so it doesn't stop right there. Again, that solid white line, just holding. Tones back on, there is a shoulder check now. The thing is, again, when you've got a solid white line, it's so easy to just say, well, I'm going across the line here, but again, we're committing an offence in that situation. Coming into the tunnel, we're going to actually turn the um, tones off here. Keep the lights on. He's got a 50 mile an hour speed limit and catching the vehicles in the front. And we're just travelling at the maximum speed that we're allowed, 70. Same time, just mindful of any movement of traffic. They're all keeping in a straight line, which is good. The lorry is indicating. When I come out of the tunnel, I'm also going to be aware there's a road going back off. Um, back off there, there'll be one coming back on again. So I'm going to put the tones on here. Check of the mirrors as we're coming through. Again, watching this lorry, he's braking. Could be braking for the one in 
front. Again, watch for vehicles that might come into my lane here, so change the toes. Looking over the wall, there's a black car. The breaker's on this one. Stay in this position, nice and wide here. In fact, I'm as far over as I can get. Okay, now we're closing down the white car. Ask it the white car, but not forcing it, so we're just backing off. So at the moment, is there a place for him to go? Let him settle. There's his space. And now we can go back on the drive. And we've got a red light there, so I'm going to go flying down here. Wipers back on again, looking for the path of least resistance through these lights. Let's turn it off for the moment and see what happens. We're going to take the offside lane. As we come through, we're just going to remember there's a red light on the other side, so we're not going to force anyone through there. It's actually green now. Again, taking the offside position through, making progress, allowing that silver car there to just get out of the way, which is trying, and it's cut right across the other car. So we've got to be ever so careful we're not forcing people into each other. Lights are nice and clear there, watching for the next set of lights on red. So we're going to come in, got a lane of least resistance and clear lane through. So we're going to change the tones, we're going to put this on the piercer. So we've got vision both sides of the road, happy with that. We'll select the gear, which gives us acceleration, we take second. Quite a slippery road there as well, feel the wheel spin a little bit. Change the tone to back off actually for a second, let's get the wipe appropriately working. Now we're at the lights, lights aren't going to change, come to this roundabout, we're activating the tones, we're looking at the path of these resistance, which is either one. So we're going to take the straight line, the mirrors are clear both sides here. Just taking the speed down to a speed that's manageable, happy with that. Off brakes, the gear's matched, we're just straight line through, signal for the ones approaching. Near side check, offside check, nice and clear through the lights, all the mile now, speaking of it. Maximum 60, mirrors and back out. Lane two. Using the gear again to get the speed up. Traffic signals coming up again, so I've got an early warning. Change the tones to the junction. It's a green light, it's a pedestrian crossing, but just take the speed off a little bit. It's nice and clear, so it's really clear. Junction thereafter, a little time change there. Staying in the offside lane. Drive 
again up to third gear, watch the traffic lights for any pedestrians near there. We're in a 40 mile an hour speed. Let's bring it back down to road speed through here. Change of tones, it's nice and clear watching the side road as well. Heads up again, we've got a series of traffic lights through here. Remember again the wet road surface. We're gonna follow the road ahead at the roundabout thereafter. Okay, so we're looking at the lights changed to red. So path loose resistance is the bus lane. Just moving through there nice and safe. We'll change down to second gear here. And then throw it straight through. So we're actually going to follow the road ahead here. Signal my intention, watching the pedestrian crossing. The bus is pulling in, watching vehicles overtaking the bus. I give them a wide berth, watch the red there. Couple of changes to times through there. Okay, again in P4 here, uh, Devon, this is a good position, gives me, it's kind of asking people just to move out of the way. It gives me good vision down the road. Change for the junction. So I've given these two time to move over and then back on the drive mirrors. Nice and safe behind at the moment. Again, we've got a nice early reaction on this one. Mirror position over to P4. Again, give plenty of room so we're not swerving around anything. Traffic lights could change, we've always got junction here. Again, right in front of these people, just watching that person, especially with the wet, wet weather, and just walk out. And another red light coming up, so again, we're looking at the path of least resistance, it's offside lane, looks quite clear. But it is a right turn lane only, we can use that. So we're going to come down here being cautious because you can't see both sides of this junction. Change the times about here. We're bringing the speed down to a manageable speed. I'm actually going to use the first of this one. Three junctions there to look out for. See how the white van came straight out there as well, even though I was probably in his vision. Uh, by that point, he might decide that that's the point where he's going to go. He doesn't want to stop. I'm going to turn right at the traffic lights up here. So we're looking at the path of least resistance at the moment. Mirrors are now nice and early. So signal my intention, speed coming down. I'm going to bring this in as a walking base. Change the tones. I'll make sure I've got vision into that road, into gear, to the blue one there. I'm happy now to take the turn. So you never know what they're going to do until they're actually there, so we are in a, a red light area, so they've got advantage of, you know, or they've got a, we have no um, priority over anyone, we just ask them. Coming up the road here, so we've got a 30 mile an hour back street, quite a lot of parked cars, slightly different style of driving through here. Trying to sort of smooth out the corners using the uh, P4 position there. Why from the junctions? Obviously, we're going to be watching out for side roads, pedestrians, driveways, quite a lot there. Roadworks sign up there as well. We're watching the junction here, just taking the speed off there to make the gap easier. Straight line through here. And trying to get in front of the cars here. Road narrows from the right. Holding the van there nicely. We'll take a second here with Stain Rev. Thank you very much. Allowing the time for the black car to move out of the way. Scanning the junction mirrors nice and safe behind. And again, just giving these guys time here. There's the gap through. Again, we'll take the option of the second gear to give me a little bit more balance through here. A bit more power leaving the hazard. Straight line in the corner, get more road works. Road narrows from the right, again just easing off a little bit. There's a gap through, mirrors. Mindful of the post fan there. Watching this car on the curb here as well, we'll change the tones. Coming into the roundabout. Again, coming in really slow here, got no vision there. We'll take the second option here. Little straight line over the top of the roundabout there, which is allowed. Again, just change the tones here. Mindful of vehicles coming around the corner. I'm trying to move my head around a bit to get a better view. Slow on the carriageway. Into 
to another roundabout following the road ahead. But one way to turn, change the tones on the approach. Again, happy both sides there, we'll go over the top. Nearest position out early here, P4. We'll use the, um, yeah, we'll keep this side and keep left. Can claim the option to go on the other side. Turning right here, it's nice and clear, we'll cut the corner off there. Watch in the black car here, so change of tongues, there's the V action, mirrors are now, there's the gap through. Watch in this one, which is about to drive off. So just when you think they're all holding, suddenly one of them doesn't. Yeah. And you've got to always clear everyone. So I basically like to clear them, right? I'll clear there, clear there, watching the uh, pedestrian crossing. New tone now. Okay, nice and clear, watching the van and the road thereafter. Offside road, car turning in further ahead. Change of tone to the junction. Thank you for uh, holding for me there. Offside position, holding that black car, see if he does. There we go. So now I've got the pathway through a little, little bit. Gonna take the offside here. He's gone. Let's get a change there. Watch for any motorbikes that may overtake through there. Pedestrians in the road. There is no one following. Pedestrians are safe. Slow on the cageway. Speed lobes are warning. It's a good uh, way of looking at those. Speed, slow markings. They're there for a reason. Normally as a hazard of some kind. Before we mind our speed limit, keep left. I've got the exemption to go the other side of that if I need it. Change the tone through here. Mirrors position out early. It's nice and safe. Got the white one holding there. And thank you for my uh, thank you for letting me go through there. I'm going to take the road ahead at the roundabout. Again, change the tones when we get slightly nearer. About here. If it's clear, foot off the brake. It's clear, foot off the brake into the gear. So the moment when I say I'm going is the time where my foot comes.